Hello everybody, my name is Benji, and welcome back to Mindustry, where my save file is actually not broken, uh, hard to believe, with the new update that just came out. V7 is now in beta, so it turns out uh, I was expecting all of my mods to be, comp or, well, my mod to be completely and entirely obliterated, uh, but it's not. It is not obliterated, and I'm actually quite happy about that. I, I won't lie, I was a little worried. But I'm not quite ready to jump straight back into Exogenesis just yet, and that is because um, I'm just getting back into the game. I want to get back into the swing of things a little bit. I don't want to just, you know, have everything uh, kind of bombarding me once again immediately. So I want to take a look into some of the new Eric here stuff first. And it looks like everything we have is still the same. We still have like the tank, the little guys, uh, whatever these ones were. Upgrading. I think these guys, are these guys miners? I don't remember what these are. It can be used directly or moved. That's this one. Long range artillery at enemy ground units can step over most terrain. Oh no, that's the spider. And then the upgraded tank and the mech refabricator, which is the upgraded spider. Um, we do have phase. I don't know if we ever ended up actually making phase, though. It doesn't look like it. We can unlock the heat router, apparently. Uh, and no, it does not look like we actually did anything with phase. Large payload mass driver requires thorium. Guess what we don't have on the planet? Thorium. Uh, and I guess they added some code stuff. So that's kind of neat. But anyway, our first one here is going to be Marsh launching from Aegis. And we can't change anything, remember, from last time. Good music. Alrighty. So what did it give us? It gave us a whole bunch of starting stuff. A whole bunch of graphite and a silica arc furnace, which takes the sand off of these cliff crushers, which make sand, uh, and it makes us wonderful graphite. And then we have a little bit of beryllium. Looks like we also have some beryllium on the ground, which is new. That usually is not a thing. And we have tungsten on the ground as well. So we will be able to use an impact drill on this soon and then obviously of course there is fog of war so if i go out this direction you can't see shit and if i make a radar you can see shit the issue is it looks like they gave us not enough power to start with so task number one is going to be upgrading our power sources and making sure that we actually have enough power in our capacity Part two is I want to be able to view a little bit farther, so we'll go on ahead and get that started as well. Come on, radar. Give me good stuff, please. Please and thanks. Okay, some more power out here. Not much else. I'm going to keep that radar around because we're going to need it in the future. And then go on ahead, grab ourselves... What are these? Oh, these are beam nodes, beam towers. Right, it's been a while since I've played this. I don't really remember a whole lot of things. That is an area of the map that is not unlocked yet, so that's the top. There is no bottom. The only other way to go is this way. And judging by the look of it, I won't actually be able to. Until... Oh, no, there's just nothing. Build times one oxidation chambers. Okay, fine. Can and will do. I'm going to get rid of this because it's just going to suck power out of me. So I'm going to get some basic resources set up, mine some more graphite, get some more tungsten, get some more beryllium. Definitely going to need more beryllium because like everything is made out of beryllium. Uh, and then I'll start making... That's all my modded stuff. I'll start making 
some like electrolyzers and other things like that. So yeah, I'll be back here in a moment. Okay, so I have ozone set up way up here. My power is very highly in the negatives, but there's really nothing I can do about that until I get some new sources of power. I forgot that these impact drills use water, so currently all of my water is just kind of going to these guys. Um, I'm also going to route some of my water from this like condenser thingy up here uh, down through my spaghetti mess, which this is part of the reason why I was so burnt out on EXO for a second. Um, cause it's just so much spaghetti and my brain hates it, but there's really not, not that much that I can do to stop it. Like it, it's, it's, it's kind of a requirement because there's just not that much that can be done about it. But anyway, uh, we have ozone set up or not, not ozone oxidation. So we have oxide set up. That's what we have set up. And then with that oxide, we can build this thing, the chemical combustion chamber, which I already have a blueprint for. Um, essentially what this does, as far as I'm aware, is it takes in water, because it has two chemical combustion chambers in it which take ozone and arcosite. So the arcosite is why we have these, no, these guys for the ozone, and then the hydrogen just goes kablooey elsewhere, because I don't really think that there's, yeah, no, I don't really think that there's anything else that uses hydrogen for anything, at least not, not right now. Uh, so hydrogen goes kablooey goodbye bye and I get power as a result, but you can see right here our power is highly suffering. So I'm going to grab that blueprint. I'm probably going to set it up somewhere that I can easily get water. Let me see. Let me double check the ratios. I'll be back. Okay, so I ran the numbers and I'm back. This blueprint can be run, like this blueprint is already perfect. There, there's nothing wrong with this blueprint. And it can be run utilizing two atmospheric condensers, or turbine condensers rather. So that is literally exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna plop this down over here. We're gonna grab ourselves a reinforced pump. And that reinforced pump is going to put straight into here. Enemies approaching in eight minutes. Wonderful. I'm so happy about that. I'm unbelievably happy about that. You guys have no idea. And then we're going to route this guy up here like so. And we're also going to route this guy the exact same way. And then we're going to disconnect that. And that's going to disconnect automatically as a result as well. There we go. Ah, right. One reason why I hate air gear. Shit, like that doesn't work. Just build it. Just build it. How many more oxides do you need? Probably like one, maybe two. Just do it. Do it. Rah! Build it. I don't know why it's taking so long to build. There, there, power grid, power grid, question mark. Oh, reinforced pump requires hydrogen, 1.5 per second. Okay, well, uh, speaking of cursed, and spaghetti. I guess I can go there. And then the hydrogen is making the arcosite, which is then being used and making my power extremely in the positive. 
which is fantastic because now I can turn both of these guys into vent condensers instead of what they currently are. And that will give me an astronomically large amount of water, which allows us to make more impact drills like such. Which is fantastic because that already used all of my power. Now I am worried about this hydrogen backing up because this only uses 1.5 per second. Uh, these things take 40 ericocytes, so this is perfect ratios with the exception of the hydrogen. Uh, because it produces 6 hydrogen per second, this thing only requires 1.5 hydrogen per second. And like I said, I don't think anything else uses uses hydrogen. So the rest of that hydrogen is going to have to get completely dumped, go bye-bye. Um, or we tank it, which I think is going to be our current temporary solution, because the tank can hold 27,000 liquid units. So that'll that'll hold for a while. That'll that'll hold for a decent while. Um. Okay. Um. I'm gonna go ahead and set up another one of those systems up here because I think these guys do I'm just checking ratios 30 per second so 60 per second total these guys take 12 per second uh yep that, that, that uh, nope okay so this does still need to stay connected down here however I am in a power more than I need to have state. Yes. Or water more than I need to have state. So, what I can do with that remaining power, probably, very roughly, is I can do a little something like this. And this will probably work if I had to take a guess. And then I can route the hydrogen background into the arcosite like that. And in the junction, put one of those. And then just make sure everything is nice and connected into the grid. Which I don't even know if these things use power. They don't. They don't even use power. Okay, so everything's already connected into the grid and we're fine. It's just tungsten that's our current problem. So let's take a look at our... Uh... Yeah, no, that's what I want. Our defense options. So we have the breach, which is just, you know, little rink-dink. Not that much damage. Not too much pierce. It's, it's not great. And then we have the diffuse, which is a very, very short range. I don't... There's the range. 15.62 versus 24, roughly. So this is, if I remember correctly, shotgun, wide cone, and it takes graphite, which we have a ton of graphite, but, you know, not great. And this, of course, requires ozone with the sublimate, and I'm not really looking for that. This requires surge, which we're not going to be able to do, and heat, so that's, that's not going to happen right now. And this requires thorium, which we haven't even unlocked yet. So I think our best option is going to be the diffuse. Um, and we... Ooh. Diffuse does require tungsten, though, which is a big problem right now. Because I just don't have any tungsten. Like, this tungsten... I get one per second, basically. So I get an every now and then burst of 24, by the look of things. And that's just not a lot of tungsten. <laughs> so, yeah, that kind of sucks. Uh, and I'm suffering inside thinking about that. We don't have time. So we're going to just set up a bunch of breaches. Looks like we can afford four. So we're going to set up four breaches. And we're going to set up tungsten ammo for them right here. Okay. I will be back. All right, well, my defenses are kind of as, as good as they're going to be, I guess. 
Uh, time to see how how things go. Oh. Excuse me? What? There's no immediate enemies? What do you mean there's no immediate enemies? That's so boring. That's what I was expecting. Alright, fine. Let's do some scouting then. And see what we can see up here. See if we find anything good. And by good I mean see if we find an enemy base. Oh, well, there's something. I have plenty of power, so I'm not entirely worried. There's more here. With a sublimate. Okay, cool. Fine. Fine. Understand. Easy peasy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy solution. So we can't really expand out here. There's nothing really worth expanding out here for. So we're good to just kind of keep what we have here as what we have and just let it be how it is. Um, is that somebody knocking on my door? Hang on. It was not, it must've been my laundry. So what we can do and what I've already started doing a little bit is make some units. Now, the units that I want to actually make for a siege are not these guys, not the eludes. What I want for the actual thing is the tank refabricator. I want the locuses because the locuses are phenomenal at just demolishing things, demolishing uh, enemy bases. So I'm going to set up a production line for these wonderful little doodads, and then we will take down the enemy core together when I come back. I got lost in my hubris. I, I really, I really tried to just do more than I could in less time than I could. Like I tried to do a full rework of the base, and honestly, it looks way better. But it doesn't matter, cause I'm 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 gonna lose it. Like there's six, yeah, there's six lotus enemy lotus tanks, just kind of chilling around. I have these two turrets, but I have no more beryllium, so I can't build anything else. I'm I'm literally just shit out of luck. So I'm gonna get back to this point, uh, and I'll be back soon. Tatiem. And even better, it starts us off with this really shitty base. So I'm gonna do some optimizing before we place down the oxidation chamber and get our power grid, you know, to a decent point. I'm, I'm just gonna basically do what we ended up doing at the beginning this time. So yeah, sorry guys. All right, I'm finally back to a little bit of a progression point. We have our factory fixed here, power source all on the left, a little bit closer to home. And I had an ammo reserve here, um, but it's already all gone. So <laughs> uh, I'm kind of shit out of luck in that regard. Um, but we do have the maximum number of units now, and I do have a regen projector and a unit repair tower as well. So I think we're gonna start our progression into the enemy bases a little bit here. We're just gonna make sure everybody can get nice and well regrouped. And I guess we can just go for it, or maybe not. Take him down. Take him down. Now take it down. I am taking lots of fire here. Doesn't seem to matter all that much. 
especially once we actually get the ammo sources depleted. We can just bullet sponge. That's why I love these upgraded tanks. They have so much health, they can just bullet sponge all the way. No, go around. Oh my gosh, I'm getting flanked. This is obnoxious. Rendezvous. Come on, you guys, just do something right. There's still another tank here. What in the world is going on? There's so many tanks. It's still there! Kill it! Kill the enemy tank! Kill the enemy tank! Oh my gosh, they're just so slow. And like I said, they have so much health. Ooh, ooh, take out the reconstructors. Take out the reconstructors. Yes! So that took out a bit of the units. Let's go a little bit deeper here. We're cutting off a bunch of supply lines as we go, obviously. Looks like there's some power construction. Go for the units first. Or, not the units, rather. The, um towers first. And I guess this is the core? There we go! Sector captured! Alright. New content unlocked, apparently. That's good to know. So, let's get these guys on a bit of an exploratory path, and then we can check out our new research that we just unlocked. Uh, it looks like nothing. Nothing new was unlocked. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, that is going to be it for this episode. Next episode, we are going to go for the ravine, I suppose? Or peaks, maybe? Ravine or peaks? Um, that seems to be the next course of action here. So thank you, everybody, so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the return to Eric here. Uh, once we finish up with everything on Eric here, we are going to go back to Serpilo and continue on with our Exogenesis playthrough. Um, but for now, that is going to be all. So thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, because I know I have. But without further ado, adios, sayonara, au revoir, hasta la vista, das vidania, evidizien, ciao, and goodbye. Please have yourselves all a fantastic rest of your day. Get some sleep if you need to. Don't forget to stay hydrated. This video is in the bag. And I will see you guys in the next one. Later, y'all.